Hi, I'm Polly Carter. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to make a classic dessert. Some roasted chicken, a goat cheese and beet salad, and I also have a grocery order coming in, so I need to get that put away. And um, just some light housekeeping. I have some laundry I need to get done, and I made some marmalade a while back and I need to get the jars uh, cleaned off, get the rings off of them and get them labeled and put away. I would like my chicken all the same thickness. So I'm going to pound it out and then I'm going to add it to some water with a little bit of salt. This will tenderize the chicken and sort of act like a marinade. I'm going to roast these peeled beets. I added a little thyme, some salt and pepper, putting them in a 425 degree oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. Now I'm making a rub for the chicken. I'm mixing a little butter and some garlic. I'll set that aside and then I'll create a mixture of beautiful seasonings and chopping some cilantro. Well, now that I have this nice rub on the chicken, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven with the beets. I'm going to leave it at 425 and I'll probably cook it for about 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. And uh, I'm going to get the seasonings cleaned up. Meanwhile, my groceries arrived, so they are all over the counters. Need to get those put away and uh, get the counters cleaned.
So the beets are done, yay. So I'm taking the warm beets out. I'm going to add a little bit of crumbled goat cheese and a little bit more thyme just to garnish. And then I have a balsamic reduction that I will uh, gar uh, place all over the top of that. And uh, when it's plated, it is so beautiful, so yummy, delicious, delicious, the warm uh, of the beets kind of melts the goat cheese and then the sweetness of the balsamic vinegar is uh, it's a very delicious salad very simple salad but very delicious now that the chicken is done I'm going to go ahead and plate that and it turned out fabulous the seasoning was spot on and very yummy So that now we had a beautiful lunch I'm going to go ahead and get these dishes cleaned up and put away and then I will start working on the next project Tonight we are having some friends over for cards and I thought it would be fun to make some Rice Krispie treats, but there's a little twist with this. It is browned butter. So I'm going to take the butter and do, um, cook down all the milk solids and then I'll add some very tasty homemade vanilla and um, a little bit of salt and we'll take it from there. Add two sticks of unsalted butter. Brown this on a medium heat. You're going to hear it pop and crackle a little bit. But that's the milk solids cooking off. After this is all melted, I will add a little bit of my homemade vanilla. Keep stirring it. While this is browning, I'm going to butter my 12 by nine pan. I'm just going to use a small sandwich size baggie. It's looking very good. It's starting to foam up a little bit so this is a good sign that the solids are cooking off. It's about there. And I add about a half a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of vanilla. The marshmallows are nice and melted, so I'm going to add a few more because I would like to see some of the marshmallows. So I'll add that. I'm going to take that off the heat. Now I'm going to add about nine cups of cereal. Two, eight, and here's the ninth one. I'm going to add it at the end. So it's nicely incorporated now, so I'm going to add it to my buttered pan. Now we'll just let them cool, and then I will cut them up. I'm going to run these through the dishwasher, and then I will wash the jars off and label them. If you haven't seen these yet, dissolvable labels for your cans, goods, beautiful. They work perfect, are removed easily, so they do, you can still reuse <laughs> the jars and lids without having the sticky stuff all over them. So let me get these labeled up and get them put on the pantry. So happy. 
happy to have three loads of laundry done. I just have one more in the wash. And I'll get that dried and put away tonight. Oh my gosh. Wow. You gotta try this. Mm. Oh, that's good. With the brown butter. Mmm. Mmm. How them just laying it. It's all over my mouth. Mm. <laughs> mm. And the Himalayan sea salt. Oh, so mm. yummy. I like it. I like it too. Thanks for joining me today. Appreciate your time. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye.